Hi everyone, so uh, recipe for tonight is uh, a nice asparagus dish that I've, I'm doing. Asparagus is banging season at the moment and obviously, I, well I love asparagus, I think most chefs really do. So, I'm going to do a little asparagus dish live. I'm going to do asparagus with mushrooms, with manchego cheese and ham. And then I've also made a little breadcrumb with some nuts. So I've put some almonds, hazelnuts and parsley in here as well. And I've got some nice ham as well to go with this. So, asparagus, I've peeled the asparagus down from the tips. I've just put the asparagus into a little bit of um, vegetable stock, okay? So that's just gonna cook gently for about three minutes, all right? In the meantime, I've got water that's just simmering gently here, and I'm gonna poach an egg. A touch of malt vinegar in there. When you poach an egg, you never put salt in, you never put salt in the water. So just drop, I've put an egg into a little bowl and in it goes. That's gonna be about three minutes as well. So, we're cooking the asparagus. Why is asparagus so expensive? Well, it's because basically it only grows um, for three weeks, three or four weeks every year. And you can never use that area to crop any other vegetables. So when you, when you, when you, when you grow asparagus, you've only got asparagus on that crop and that's it. You can't re-pop, re-sow anything any, any, for the rest of the year. So, I've got a few mushrooms here as well, which I'm gonna pop in now with the asparagus after about a minute. Got some nice mushrooms. We've got some enoki, um, some chestnut mushrooms as well, and there's a few shiitake as well. They're gonna go in the water as well. So it's very little liquor, so we wanna keep all the flavor in there. The lid goes back on. In the meantime, the egg is poaching away nicely. Just gentle simmer. Okay, look, nice, gentle simmer. You can just see the egg holding nicely. If you put salt in the water, it can damage the, the egg. Right, so I've also, I've got some chervil, which works really well with asparagus, okay? And I've, I've shaved a few, using a peeler, I've just got a few of the asparagus raw here. All right, I'm just gonna check the asparagus now and see if it's tender. Yes, it's about one minute away. All right, you can see that liquor's all dried up now. And it's taking on the flavor from the mushrooms as well. Okay, so, just shaking away. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of water from the egg as well, just to give that a little bit more liquid. Right, this is now, these are nearly there, 30 seconds more. I'm now going to drop, I've got a little bit of wild garlic here, it's going in the pan. And I'm going to pop in the shaved pup asparagus as well. They're literally going to take a few seconds to cook. Now I'm removing everything. flavour in this pan now. Just going to drop a little bit of water in. And then I'm going to just drop a little bit of butter to create an emulsion, which is basically going to be our butter for our asparagus. Just get that moving. And now let's just check the egg. Lovely. Yep, that's nearly there, about 30 seconds more. This is now, this is going to be the sauce for our asparagus. Just emulsified, that's called emulsification. All right, so that's done. Off that goes. Now, egg comes out as well. That's a beautiful little poached egg. Okay, just gonna check the seasoning. A little bit of pepper salt. Don't wanna to put too much because we've got cheese to go on this dish. Now we're ready to plate. 
asparagus goes in the middle. Like so. Always do odd numbers, so we've got five, five spears. Then I've got a few of these little pieces as well that be draped over the top. And the wild garlic for extra flavour. A few of the mushrooms. It's going to taste delicious. Poached egg on top. Nice bit of pate negra ham. Look at the garlic flour. And then some chervil pits. And then we have our sauce. And finally, we put some nice shaved manchego cheese. Also, we've got to sprinkle this mixture on top to give it an extra crunch. This has got hazelnuts, almonds, and walnuts with breadcrumbs, and I've just cooked it in a pan with butter. And that's gonna give you a nice crunch. There you go, and there's the final dish. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy this dish. Try this, it's a beautiful way to eat asparagus. Thank you, and see you next time. Keep safe. Thank you.